Hello, everyone. This is Cheyenne Marling with Wood O'Brien's, and I wanted to take the opportunity to highlight our dashboards that have been published uh, to accompany the 10th edition Event Impact Management Report. Now, what you can see in front of you is the 10th edition Crisis Event Impact Management. This is focused specifically on the pre-event planning and program enhancements portion of the report, which is in the beginning at the end of the report. And this particular dashboard is only focused on the financial industry. So the complimentary report, which is available to anyone in the profession, uh, focuses on some great trends and correlation to program maturity. But there's a quite a bit of data that we um, do include in the customized dashboards. And those dashboards are only made available to professionals who confidentially contribute to our study. And when they do contribute, they can choose between the industry or by organizational revenues. And it's an opportunity for them to get peer-based assessments, data assessments, so they can see how their program, their pre-planning, their program enhancements moving forward in the new year, how does that really compare to their peer group? So it's impossible to display all this different peer-based data within the report itself. So we make these dashboards available um, to those who contribute to the study, and we're just excited to do this. So as you can see in front of you, this gives you an opportunity to see what how the length of your program um, compares to your peer group during different aspects of the program. What are the different issues that your program really addresses from equipment loss, loss of data, supply chain disruption, um, definition of a crisis. Now you will see that some of the text does cut off within the data dash within the data charts. The reason why is it's extracting the text, the content ex directly from the study itself. And we don't want to re remove that text from the study question. So to read the data chart, you will see reference key to read the text that is cut off. So if you received your dashboard, you should have also received a key to help you read some of the text that's been cut off within the dashboards. You can also see the different communication methods that are utilized throughout an event. You can see here it exceeds 100%. So some of the questions will exceed 100% because participants can choose multiple selections within that question. The events that organizations are most concerned about, these aren't the events that necessarily happen, that, but they're most concerned about. Again, we're on the pre-planning efforts. Uh, this question does auto-populate into the next question of how prepared that organization is. So one key thing to really watch out for is, for example, only 2% indicate a dust storm. So only 2% of the respondents who selected dust storm, dust storm auto-populates into the next question, well, how prepared are you for a dust storm? So just word of caution when you're looking at this, it does indicate here that the top events selected from above auto-populate into this preparation question. So you want to really focus on the ones that get a more respondents, and then that will be more relevant data in the follow-up question. The other piece I also want to focus on is uh, you do get a, there is a rating on some of the aspects of crisis management pre-planning from the lack of a defined crisis leader, uh, undefined process for crisis communication plan and approvals. So again, a, a great way to kind of compare your crisis management pre-planning efforts to your peer group. Then we get into the evolving resiliency strategies for the new, next year. So this is the part, portion of the report that's towards the end of the report. So what are companies really doing to enhance their program in the new year? So executive engagement, looking at program integration with risk disciplines, cyber response. But in addition to this, we also look at what are they really investing in? What are programs really investing in, in the new year from permanent staff, emergency notification, software automation, um, uh, consulting opportunities, improvement to the program strategy, specifically looking at maybe looking at legal and fraud issues, liquidity issues. So great data, again, to think about your organization and then again, how you compare to your peer group. The other dashboard that all the study respondents, again, all only study respondents only received was how have the top 10 crises impacted organizations? So here we have the, the events that did happen in the last year. Now we include all the respondents here, yes, but one thing to really note on is really focus on the top 10 events, which was power outage, pandemic, war insurrection, supply chain disruption, um, hurricane, flood, ice winter storm weather, cyber attack, 
network communication, software issues. Those were the top 10 events from the last year. So even though all of these events pre-populated into the follow-up questions, it's really important that as you look at each data chart uh, or table, keep in mind, focus on the top 10 events because I unfortunately can't remove all the events from the, from the, table, tab, uh, from the charts. But when you see these here, these follow-up questions and how, what was the recovery response that was activated for each of these different events, we only focus on those top 10 events that I noted above. Same thing is true for when we look at, um, as well as impact to the organization, only the top 10 events are noted here. So you can see how was customer service impacted compared to financial loss of revenue, supply chain disruption. So again, only the top 10 events are really highlighted in those follow-up bar charts, even though all the events are included in, in these tables, really focus on the top 10. Um, executive involvement, length of business resumption, what were the percent of critical systems that were impacted, financial loss, who was included on your team when responding to events, what were some of the noted outcomes, but what was most beneficial with your um, most the most beneficial part of your program during a response? So again, great data. Everyone received this exact same dashboard again. So great data to look at. We did not customize this particular dashboard by industry or by size of organization. Only the pre-planning and the program enhancements were customized. Now, if you have any questions at all, I encourage you to reach out to me. I'm more than happy to help. My email address is included on the report. Um, or you may email me at cmarling at widowbryans.com or reach out to me via LinkedIn. And I encourage you, if you've not participated in the study yet and you've received the report, but you want data customized to your peer group, you have time to do so. The study will close finally on August 30th, 2023. So please feel free to contribute confidentially. We do not share your information. And as you can see in the dashboard, uh, there's no individual respondent information shared either. So feel free to reach out to me. We're um, just ecstatic to share this data with you. And I really thank you all to everyone who has participated and who will participate in the future. Thanks so much. Bye.